Okay, let us see our last example here. Still on hexagons, six sides, six forces of that, that, and that act along sides A, B, C, D, and F, A, over in the polygon of side orbitals. So let us start by getting our regular hexagon. So this is going to be our A, B, this is C. D, E, then this is going to be our F. Then our force is that us at AB is going to be taking 5 newtons. Then we have this one is taking 6 newtons. Then we have this one is going to be taking 7. Then this one is going to be taking 4. In that order, we start with the last D, E, then D, the F. Is going to be taking five in that order. Then eight newtons, F A, F A, eight newtons. So as simple as now, we start to resolve these forces. These are okay. These are okay. These two are okay because for them they are pure horizontal. Now these ones which are not horizontal, they are vertical. We need angles for the horizontal. And say the exterior angle of a polygon. Is given by 360 over n. This one is going to be 360 over 6, which will give us 60 degrees. So now, meaning I can easily get this angle here. So this angle is going to be 60 degrees. So I can also easily get this one. This one is also going to be 60 degrees. I can also easily get this one here. This one is also going to be 60 degrees. And I can easily also get this one here. It's going to be 60 degrees. So after getting these ones, then you can easily resolve. How do you resolve this? You see it's going to that side, it means it's going to go that side. Then it will move up to meet this force. Then this one is now this one, it's coming, so meaning that even this will come, then this one will also go up here. So it will come like this, then it means this there. Then this one, you see it's in this direction, so it will go like this, then it will come here like that. What about this one? This one is the force is coming like this. So it will come like this from there, it will go there, then it will come on that side. So let us put in our force, this is adjacent to this force, so it will be 6 or 60 degrees. Then this is its opposite to this, so it will be 6 sine 60 degrees using Sokatoa. Then this, one, this is now the angle. So it's that this angle, this one is adjacent, so it will be now the cos 7, then cos 60 degrees, and the opposite is here, which will be 7 sine 60 degrees. So the term to this, this is adjacent, so it will be 5 cos 60 degrees. And then this is its opposite, it will be 5 sine 60 degrees. Then this one, when we, we base on this angle, you see this one is going to be at the distance, so it's going to be 8 cos 60 degrees. Then this will be 8 sine 60 degrees. So you are finished. Then you can easily resolve. So resolving in this direction, so I'm getting my x components. First of all, I have a 5. Then you see this one. I want those on which are going in that side first. Then plus 6 cos 60 degrees. Then it is going in that side, yes. Then plus 8 cos 60 degrees. So those are the ones going. What about this one going inside? We have this one minus 4. Then this one minus 5 cos 60 degrees. Then also this one. Minus 7 cos, cos 60 degrees. Those are the six forces we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in our horizontal. Either this side or this side. When we press this on the calculator, we will have 5 plus 6. So 
we are getting to neutrons. Then let me resolve vertical. So my y vertical is going to be vertical now. Those ones which are going vertical like this. We start with those ones which are going. So we have this one, six sine 60 degrees, then plus, we also have that, 7 sine 60 degrees, okay? Then is there anyone which is going in that order? No. We have only this and this. Then these ones are opposing. So they are opposing, that's why for them we just subtract. So they are opposing, so this is going to be minus 5 sine 60 degrees, then minus, this one is 8 sine 60 degrees and so there our is going to be when we put those things on the calculator scene sine 60 so this one is giving me zero so as simple as that so meaning that now our F, the resultant force, the total force is going to be xy, which will be now to 0 newtons. So, how do we get the result of the total force is going to be 2? Now, we see this one is going to be a single component force going like that only. So, 2 newtons. It's not going anywhere. So, there is that our resultant. FR is going to just be, this is going to be our FR. So it's going to be to Newton's. The direction is not the direction, it's going to be to Newton's, the direction of, in the direction of, in the direction of this AB. AB, as simple as that. So, we are through with that question. So, the moment you come with hexagons, try to skate orange, not how we get the studio angles, we get the number of sides divided by, so this is divided by the number of sides of that regular polygon, that's how we should get the studio angle. Be careful with the direction of the forces. You see these ones, we are going, and so this one, this one now, it should come like this, then to come next, then to go there. You see this one, it was going this side, so this should go, then it meets. They should always meet from the point where the force is starting, then towards where the force is ending. Starting from there, comes the side to meet it here. This one starts from here to go there, comes there. But you be careful with the angle. Simple as that. So, that's it, members. Understand the question. We are ending there. More we are going to see projectiles. Or in the next lesson, we are going to see projectiles. But please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Always go and visit there friends that's where you find a lot of questions there i mean a lot of topics there to see you there